Hello everyone and welcome back to Guild Wars 2 Heart of Thorns. Today we're not doing a specific story quest. We are just um, exploring the map and getting through a mastery skill that we had to get in order to continue the story. So we had to get experience on the map so we ended up doing some of the quests with a random group i tried to go through and get the mastery points at one point um so you can see me i sped this up like eight times so it might be kind of hard to catch some of it but um overall it took about two hours i think <laughs> So like I said, I was with one group for a little while. They were bopping around and doing the different quests on the map, so I joined them for a while. And then I ended up, like I said, I was flying solo, so I was beating things up and hopping in when I could on things, but it was kind of a struggle. And I'm not really familiar with this map. Um, it's the Auric Basin, um, so it's interesting that they've added this aspect of it, so instead of necessarily doing the map quests as part of the storyline, like in the Living World season, we are now, you know, we have to unlock these mastery points, so we have to do things in the map. Um, you can't earn mastery points for the Auric Basin, not in the Auric Basin. Um, so we need the Exalted Lore Mastery, so I had to stop training my gliding and go back and train that, which we had just unlocked. So it was interesting when you suddenly need like 500,000 <laughs> points. So I accidentally, a lot of the time I just kind of stumbled into events at this point. Um, it wasn't really anything major. I was trying to just discover things and find different points of interest and the waypoints and stuff like that. Um, and I ended up, like I said, I think I ended up seeking out the mastery points and some of them, you know, I didn't have updraft. <laughs> and um, I was trying to do it and trying to do it and trying to do it and they're like, you don't have updraft? And I was like, no, you can't do it. And I was like, but <laughs> it's not fair. It's not letting me train updraft. I have to train Exalted Allure, like, what? <laughs> so it was just obnoxious in that respect. Um, but there's, you can't do map quests and challenges and things solo. Like it's absolutely not a solo thing you can do. Like you absolutely have to have a group doing them. And apparently, <laughs> I found out that the Auric Basin, it has quite the map event, um, and it's like a cycle, so you go through and you defend the different, like, North Watch, South Watch, East Watch, West Watch kind of outpost areas, and you protect the different things, and then you go to the middle of Tarir or whatever, or not the middle, but each different section and um, beat up the big bad vines <laughs> as like a map so all four directions have to do it together or it just it doesn't work um, so that was interesting so yeah here we are doing the mastery points um, they're just they give you a mastery point for the map and um, they were 
not the easiest to get to. Some of them were a lot easier than others. Some of them I knew exactly what I had to do and it was just being a pain in the butt. So, it depends. Still a fun game, but it's just, it's one of the more tedious tasks. Like I said, it's interesting that they chose to force you into doing the map challenges this way <laughs> um and it is because you need a group this is a very hard game to do without a group or a guild hence why it's called guild wars um but you know there's it does seem like there's a fair amount of people on for the most part to run and do the events with so that is nice how it is set up that you can just do it with people and they have a commander mechanic so different people can uh, if they're confident enough can be a commander and they can kind of lead the charge and coordinate everything and that makes it a lot easier in some respects it's nice to have direction and guidance <laughs> for things so uh, yeah we're doing it um but eventually i was just like all right <laughs> i need help um i don't want to do this by myself this sucks doing it by myself that's the biggest thing is i was just like i don't know what to do like <laughs> <sighs> do I continue? I'm like, I want to go down with the story. I don't want to have to just continue cycling through all of these events all the time. I don't want to have to hope for random groups to pop up. I don't want to have to hope I'm in the right place at the right time. Like, and I know I can be like, oh, hey, who wants to come dick around in <laughs> Maguma for a while? I just... Uh, is how I feel about this whole shenanigan. <laughs> it's just, I get it. They want you to get the most out of the game, and this kind of forces your hand. And they make it worth it. Like, you get so many rewards for it. But at the same time, it's like, I just, I just want to do the story. Just let me do the story. <laughs> Why you gotta be so difficult? Um, so, yeah, at this point, I let my fiance just control my character and be like, oh, hey, you want to go do this? And then he was just like, I don't have updrafts there, darling. <laughs> <laughs> like, no, you can't do it. And I was like, well, wanna portal me up there? <laughs> Portals, man, they're very useful. They are very useful, Casimir. Sorry, I don't miss her. <laughs> I wish I could sub her out and just... <laughs> um... Like, I literally, like, if you watch the battles and stuff, like, I don't know what she's doing half the time. I really don't. And so, yeah, we just, we went around to the different mastery points, and then we ended up doing some of the hero challenges, and then it was like, oh, there might be enough people on here to do the big event. And I was like, big event? Like, what? I don't care if I do the big event. <laughs> Like, no, we're, we're gonna do the, we're gonna do, it's called Octavine, that's what he called it, what it was called, so, uh, we did the setup a little bit, and then we had to uh, change maps, so, uh, which was fine, which was fine, because in the end, we ended up getting my Exalted Lore Mastery and my Updraft Mastery, so, we ended up getting over a million and five hundred thousand experience points 
to get both of those masteries. It's crazy. So, it's a lot of experience to get. So we're just running through the events, and we ended up with a small group of other people that we ended up going around the map with, which was nice. Um, and they appreciated having him around too, because his character is just the most obnoxious, overpowered character most of us have ever seen. Um, it's just... So yeah, that's pretty much all I got for you today. <laughs> it's just super sped up two plus hours of the Guild Wars 2 running around the Auric Basin. Not even the Kuma, just the Auric Basin. Just the Auric Basin. I'm sick of the Auric Basin. <sighs> sick of it. Sick of it already. Been there for two days and I'm sick of it. <laughs> and I have to go down to Terrier now. That's where we're up to is actually going down to Terrier, which we did like to find. We saved Terrier. We did it. Done. Whatever. And like the whole time I've just got Glint's egg on my back. Like I'm literally running around the map with Glint's egg. Like I'm sorry. Why does that make any sense? That doesn't make any sense. Like, realistically, if you had a good drag, like, <laughs> if you had Glint's egg on your back, you would not dick around the world, like, doing random shit. Like, you would go straight there. Like, there was a time and a place to have us explore the different Maguma maps, and this was not the time. <laughs> like, storyline-wise, I don't feel like it was the best timing-wise to require people to, like, <laughs> just do these shenanigans at this point in time. Like, they do a pretty good job of, like, including the whole map in the story, which is nice, but at the same time... I'm not... <laughs> They're very thorough with it. But... Collecting all this meat, the Drake right now... Just... It's nonsense. And the Drake, by the way... Super overpowered, super annoying. Like, you touch that fire, you're dead if you're my character. Dead. And for the most part, most of us were like, okay, fuck us then. <laughs> like, just absolutely asinine. Like, I am not, like, you would not risk this battle if you had the egg on your back. Like, you wouldn't. That's not... Sorry. It lost a little realism for me. <laughs> I mean, it's a video game. You're not there for realism, realistically. But... But... It kind of has to... The map has its own story. Sort of. Like, it's connected to the main story, but... It's not necessarily the same part of the story that you're in. So, no. It's not, it's not falling in that same sense of keeping the continuity the same as it could. Um, they try to make the map stories kind of revolve around wherever you are in the world so like if you're in the auric basin generally speaking like this is where you are in the story which is all fine and dandy but i'm helping save a city i don't really trust the spectral ghosts yet with like 
I'm helping all of these different characters and like up until this point like there was one of them <laughs> I met one I met Ruka and then all of a sudden there's this whole lore and race and that's all well and good and everything but like seriously like like I said maybe like one or two things down the road <laughs> would have been a little better you know one or two things down the way to do the map events because this is just... not the right time not the right time guild wars 2 that's just how i feel about it it's slightly off in the storytelling which is hard because i've adored the story that they've told so far i've adored um you know, everything uh, up until this point, and then, well, not really. I bitched about a couple of different aspects of it at this point. But, <laughs> um, it's just, it's one of those things where you didn't have to. Like, maybe I will need the Exalted Lore Mastery. I get it. But at the same time, like, really, really, maybe not. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, like I said, we just, we do the different hero challenges. So this is what we're doing at this point. And this beastie, this beastie was not fun. <laughs> it even, it even took down... <laughs> the badass mesmer so when you come across that beastie be prepared <laughs> he went down and he was like shit all right focus <laughs> um but then like as soon as he's like oh yeah okay and then we did it so then this was the event right it was the last thing we did while we were waiting for the event to start. And it was just literally like beat up the vines. And like... My computer is a trooper. It tries hard. It's not the best though, as I'm sure most of you who've watched any length of my videos know. It tries. It tries. So I could not... For the initial part of this I couldn't be in the fray I had to be back a little bit just so uh, my computer didn't explode it wouldn't have but I go through this with Path of Exile where it just too much happens on the screen my graphics card just it can't keep up it's this is not a good one it's not <laughs> so it is it and it slowly gets itself sorted out. <laughs> so, but yeah, after we do all of these chests and everything, and it's at this point where we're like, okay, we did it. We're good. <laughs> you know, so that's all I've got for you today. I have to go through all of this loot that we apparently got, which I didn't even... The thing about me is that I have not really processed the loot from this game. Okay? Keep that in mind. Like, I don't have a value for the loot in my brain at this point. So thank you guys so much for watching and have a wonderful day. Bye guys.